Back now for that ABC News exclusive with Chelsea Manning. She's the transgender former Army soldier who spent years in prison for leaking classified military records to WikiLeaks back in 2010. She sat down with Nightline's Juju Chang for her first interview since being released. Juju is here. Good morning, Juju. Good morning, George. You know, for the past seven years, only a handful of visitors have been allowed to see Chelsea Manning or hear her voice. And yet she's become a beacon for anti-secrecy rights and transgender rights, a hero to many. But critics say she betrayed her country plain and simple. She would argue in the fog of war, it's much more complicated than that. So many people call you a traitor. Many call you a hero. Right. Who is Chelsea Manning? So I'm just me. It's as simple as that. Yet the story she's sharing this morning for the first time is far more complex. The world first heard about her as Bradley Manning in 2010, when the Army intelligence analyst was charged with leaking the largest trove of government secrets in U.S. history. Do you feel as though you owe the American public an apology? I've accepted responsibility. No one, no one told me to do this. Nobody directed me to do this. This is me. It's on me. It was images like this that Manning says compelled her to go to WikiLeaks, American soldiers carrying out an aerial attack on what ended up being unarmed civilians, including children. Among the dead, two Reuters journalists. getting all this information and it's just death, destruction, mayhem and eventually you just stop. I stopped seeing just statistics and information and I started seeing people. Counterinsurgency warfare is not a simple thing. There's not, there's no, it's not as simple as like good guys versus bad guys. It is a mess. She leaked over 700,000 documents in total saying she wanted to spark public debate. So you didn't think any of it was going to threaten national security? No. There are those who say you, you may have been motivated to get the information into the public sphere, but you might have also given it to our enemies. Right, but I have a responsibility to the public. You know, it's not just about, you know, we all have a responsibility. Manning was acquitted of the most serious charge of aiding the enemy, but pled guilty to others and was sentenced to the longest prison term for any American leaker, 35 years. Within days, she made another life-changing decision. What made you decide to come out as trans after being sentenced? I had to be who I am. But the military denied her request for hormones. Fighting for her right to transition, so daunting, she says, she tried to commit suicide twice, which led to time in solitary confinement. And why was it so important to you to fight for hor hormone treatments while you were behind bars? It's literally what keeps me alive. It keeps me from... from from feeling like I'm in the wrong body, you know, like I get, I, I get these horrible feel. I used to get these horrible feelings, like I just want to rip my body apart. The army ultimately granted her request, and then five months ago, after seven years in prison, a gift from a parting president, clemency. I feel very comfortable that justice has been served. You haven't spoken to President Obama. What would you say to him if you could? Thank you. <laughs> Give it a chance. That's all I wanted. You wanted a chance. That's all I asked for was a chance. That's it. And this is my chance. 